welcome to today's video. I'm on a little YouTube roll at the moment. I have been have had a little bit of extra time while the kids were at their dad's and I have been able to create some videos that I've been wanting to do for the last few days. So today's video, as you can see here, I have managed to crack the problem I've been having trying to get John nails to stay on my fingers. I've been having this problem for months. I bought my gel lamp months and months ago and I've been doing my toes at home for a long time. Um, found the, to the gel st stuck to my toes, no problem. I've cracked that, it didn't come off. It's been absolutely fine. But every time I tried to do fingernails within a day or even sometimes within hours, they would literally just peel off. The whole nail would just peel off and I didn't know what I was doing wrong. So I did ask on Instagram, I had tons of tons of help from all my girls on Instagram. I've been researching YouTube and I, w I managed to work out what I was doing wrong and why they weren't sticking. So I thought I would just record this quick video and share what I found with you girls because after I put the thing out on Instagram, I had so many of the girls message me and say, oh my God, I've got this problem too. I've bought the lamp, I've bought the gels, I bought the base coat, all this kind of stuff and I'm doing something wrong and they just won't, they won't go right. <laughs> a little disclaimer, I am not a nail technician. I do not really know much about this. I'm just sharing with you guys what I have found has worked for me because I have struggled and struggled for weeks and months before that and now I have found a way to do mine and you know, they look all right. They're not like salon quality, but from a distance, they're not too bad and I'm quite happy with them. So I just wanted to share with you girls as well and hopefully it will help anybody else out there who is struggling. So yeah, like I said, I bought a nail lamp months and months ago. I got it off Amazon. I wish when I bought it, I bought like a whole pack of like the nail, you can get like a set, which is like nail lamp, the alcohol cleaner, the nail cleanser, the like top coat remover, all that kind of stuff. You know, the cuticle clippers and some polishes and things like that. I think if I had bought it all in one go to begin with, it would have been a lot cheaper, but I didn't. I just bought the, the lamp and some, a top coat and some colours. And that is all I have at the moment. I have ordered myself some like clippers and like a nail, like a cuticle clipper um, set so that I can get my cuticles looking really nice as well. Luckily, my cuticles don't really grow like messy. So I've managed to get away with it for now. Um, but I will link the set that I've ordered in the description box. First off, I'm gonna show you the lamp that I have. So yeah, I bought this lamp months ago. I got it off Amazon. It's called Miley Nail. It's the Miley Nail lamp. It's really good. It has a little red button. So I know that I just press the red button and leave them to cure for like two minutes. And yeah, it's been good. So yeah, I've had this six months or so. I've done my toes for ages with it. It's been brilliant. So I will link this one. I will also link below a set that you can buy. So it's this lamp, um, like a starter set of like top coat, base coat and colors. You're cleaning liquids as well that you can use. Um, so I'll link those below. But yeah, this is a lamp that I've been using. I find it really good to use. It's really easy and yeah, so far so good. And the other things you're gonna need are a base coat, which I actually don't have at the moment. It's on the way from Amazon. Um, a top coat and then whatever colors you want. So I've been using these ones, which are the Vyshine ones. I have a white and like a really pale pink. I really like white. Whenever I get my nails done, I quite often will have white, nude or black. I've actually had a black polish delivered today from Amazon. So I will link all the, the link for these below. I've been using these on my toes for ages. They've been fab. Really nice, like cheap and cheerful little price. And we'll just see you through for the moment. And then you're also going to need a nail file. If you don't have a base coat, don't panic too much. I got away without doing a base coat. Um, but if you have got a base coat, you're gonna get a better finish. And if you don't have the nail cleanser or the top coat remover, and you have some hand sanitizer at home, you can use this as well. It has a high alcohol content, so it will do the same job. So that's a really basic <laughs> of what you're gonna need. Obviously, if you get more of the professional products, you're gonna get a better finish but we're in lockdown if this is all you have then just go for it I managed to do it with mine so the first thing you want to do is take a nail file shape your nails how you want them I have mine like a square with like rounded edges and try and get them like as much ones like one length as you can if you need to trim your cuticles get a cuticle cutter and tidy up your cuticles and push them back 
And then also if you have some cuticle oil, you can pop that just around your cuticles. It's just gonna protect your skin. Take a nail file. I just have this really cheap and cheerful one from Superdrug and you're gonna rough up the nail. So make sure it's got no polish or anything like that on and take the nail file and rough up all your nail till it doesn't look smooth anymore. This is the first thing that I was doing wrong. I wasn't doing it, I was starting with a really smooth nail and so the gel polish had nothing to stick to and was just peeling off. Once you've rubbed up your nail, take some of your cleaner and cleanse the nail to get rid of oil, all the oil and dust and everything on your nail. Then, if you have a base coat, go in with a base coat. If you don't have a base coat, don't worry too much. I managed to get mine to stick just by roughing the nail up and going straight in with the colour. So once you've put your base coat on, cure it under the lamp. I do mine for like two minutes then I know that it's completely cured and I'm not going to have any problem. I think you can do it for shorter, but I'm just going to say two minutes because that's what I've done on each of them. And then I went in with my white polish. So the second mistake that I was making is when I was applying the first layer of polish and then the coats afterwards. I, you know, I'm not the best, and especially when I did this the first time, I was getting it on my cuticles, on the side of my nails, and I just thought to myself, being the absolute novice that I am, once it's cured, I can just pick those bits off, the polish, the gel will stick to the nail and it will be fine. That was number two mistake that I made. If you get any of the gel colour on your cuticles, on the side of your nail, and then you cure your nail under the lamp, it is going to set on your skin and then as that lifts, or as you notice it and you start picking it off, it is going to peel off the whole layer of that nail with it because it's all going to be stuck in one piece. So that was the second mistake I made. So now when I'm doing my nails, if I don't do a perfect job, I get it as close as I can to the cuticle but I do leave a nice little gap round. It gives a nice finish to them and if I do get any on my cuticle or any on my skin, I get my nail and wipe that off my cuticle and my skin before I cure it. Then you shouldn't have a problem. The mistake number three that I was making was I wasn't capping the edge of my nails. Before you paint the flat part of your nail, you want to take your brush with a tiny bit of product on and just run it along the edge of your nail to cap the nail. And then go in to apply the colour to the nail. If you do the colour and then the cap, you might get a bulky edge. So do the cap first and then brush it really nice and flat before you then go in and cure the first coat for two minutes. Another good tip that I found online was to get a really nice, professional, even finish. Once you've applied the gel, turn your hand upside down for 10 seconds and gravity will pull the polish to a nice, even, flat surface and then put it into cure. So that was a good little tip that I found too. Then with this one, I added three coats of the polish. You can just do three or four, or maybe even two, depending on the consistency, depending on how the color's gonna look. With this one, with it being white, I did three coats and it looked really nice and even. There were no like bits that were patchy or anything like that. So I did three coats, cured them for two minutes every time, which might be too much, but that's just what I did and it did work really well. And then go in with your top coats. So mistake number four that I was making is when I was doing my top coat, I was doing it as if I would do a normal nail varnish. I was layering it on really thick and thinking that would give me a really nice shiny professional finish. But when you do your top coat, you want to do some real you want to do really nice thin coats. Um, again, make sure you don't get it on the cuticle, on the skin, and if you do, wipe it off before and also cap the edge as well. I actually added two layers of top coat because my nails were really really bendy and they didn't feel very strong at all so I thought I would try out adding a second top coat on top to add a little bit more strength and they actually feel so much stronger than when I've had gel nails before so I was really happy with that. When you add the top coat you can get some that are non-white top coats but these were, this one is one that you will have to wipe down. The first time I did my nails I didn't know this so I just put the top coat on, cured it and they were so sticky and I didn't know what I'd done wrong. So if you don't have the specific liquid to do this, again, you can just use hand sanitizer on some kitchen towel and then just rub over the nail and it will do exactly the same job and it will leave you with shiny, really nice finished nails. 
So yeah, like I said, I'm no nail technician, I'm no expert, I'm just sharing with you the little tips that I picked up and how I managed to get these to stay on. They have been on for three or four days now and this is the best they have been. <laughs> I can tell they're really sturdy, there is no bits coming off on the sides. They're just gonna stay put now, I think, until either they grow out and I take them off or if I decide I want to go for another color. I've had a really nice black come through the door from Amazon today, so I might change up and go for a black color. But yeah, I'm really happy with them. I know a lot of people probably say they're, they're not very good and <laughs> if you are a nail technician out there, then I'm sure you can do a much better job than me. But for me personally, I've been really happy that I've managed to have okay nails while we're in lockdown. So as I practice with this, I might not go back to the nail salon, I might just stay doing them myself if I get better and better and I'm really, really happy with the finished look on them. So yeah, I think when I was going to the salon before, it was costing me like over 50 pounds to have my nails and acrylics done on my fingers and you can get a whole set for less than that. So I don't know whether, you know, it seems more savvy to do, to do that if you have the time and the skills to be able to do them on yourself. So, so yeah, I will link the lamp that I have. I will link the brand of polishes that I've been using because I have been super happy with them. They're really, really good. And I will also link the starter set that I wish I had bought um, rather than just buying little bits individually because then I would have everything just to do a really professional finish. So I'll pop all that in the description for you. So if you have any tips or tricks as well, please feel free to pop them in the comments. And I hope this has been helpful if you are at home as well, trying to do your own DIY nails at the moment, I'm really struggling. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm gonna end this little video here and I'll see you in my, new, in my next video. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better.